Hi, my name is Morel Koken. I'm creating Vandy Rocks for you. This is a transformation look from the Vandy haircut. What I did, and actually what I'm going to be doing, I'm creating a roll silhouette on top of the head with the side slicked back. It's a very cool little look. But how I'm going to section it, or how I did section it, I created two C sections on each side of the head, if you can see. And slicked it all the way back and secured it with a clip. The same thing on the other side. What I'm going to do right now, I'm going to blow dry it with a round brush so I can give you that form and that curve already. So I'm going to be using texturizer into the hair so I can blow dry it into the same form I'm looking for. Texturizer will give me that hold what I desire. Especially when I kind of push it into the root area where I need to lift. After I blow dried her hair on the top and curled it, I kind of set it and moved the hair around my finger and kind of set it into a roll. So I let it cool down a bit now, so when I brush it out, it's a very easy way to put it into shape later on when I tease it. So after you tease the whole section from the front to the back, you slightly brush the surface into place. So by brushing it slightly and lightly and form it with your hands, you can create that like round shape on the top. As you can see, I secured bobby pins from the front to the back into more like a crisscross um, secure technique. After I secured the body pins all the way to the bottom, I'm going to go in and um, create the roll on the top. I did not secure a body pin in the front because it's going to not look right. kind of want to make it look like it's nonchalant. So you brush the hair in place and keep brushing it, keep molding. It's very important that you use your hand more than your brush because your hand is the most important tool as we have right now because it kind of like forms the round shape and that roll you want to create. So when you use the, the end of the, your, your, your comb, you have something pointy like this, or your rectangle comb, and push those little ends inside and create your form. So what I'm trying to create is a round form on the top, and you want to keep brushing and keep brushing it into a, a nice round um, silhouette. So I finished Vandy Rocks, almost. So I did the top, as you can see, it's a little bigger in the front area. It kind of goes really tighter if you go down into the nape area. So it looks more of a natural form. Now the sides, I'm gonna use the new hair products, Shine Crafter. Use a fair amount, mold it into your hands. And kind of just Slick it back, that gives you that shine I want. My Vanity Rocks is complete. So I'm going to finish it off with the Halo Mist for some extra shine. And she's, um, she's ready to go.